Hi, and welcome to Spotlight, the newest series at Capri Ventures, where we catch up with our portfolio founders and see what's going on, what's exciting, and ask them to spill the tea. Today, we have Siddharth Dialani, the co-founder of Bharat Agri. Hello, Siddharth, and welcome to Spotlight. Thank you, Sandhya. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, always a pleasure. We must make it a habit. It's a good habit. Siddharth, you have some exciting news to share. Bharat Agri uh, recently raised a Series A round in funding. Tell us about it. What's the funding going to be used? Uh, and what else can you tell us about this series? Yeah, sure. So I would quickly like to take one minute to recap about what Bharat Agri is and what are the services that we are providing to farmers. So Bharat Agri is an advisory driven e-commerce platform for farmers. So let's first quickly look at the advisory word. We provide personalized and scientific consultancy to farmers where we guide them from sowing to harvesting about what crops they should grow and how should they grow it. We collect lots of data from the farm, from soil, from weather and from satellite based images. We use all that data to give a season long scientific schedule. Now, as a part of this schedule, we suggest them some specific seeds, fertilizers and pesticides that they should use. Mm -hmm. Now, Bharat Agri has very seamlessly integrated advisory with e-commerce, where when we are recommending them a particular seed, fertilizer or pesticide, farmers can place orders for the same and get it delivered to their house within three to four working days. So any village in India, farmers can place order from and we deliver it to their house. You would be surprised to know that in last few months, every month we have delivered orders in far flung areas of Jammu Kashmir, Arunachal Pradesh, Andaman Nicobar and Daman and Dio. So that tells how this country is transforming, where farmers from different parts of the country are using a mobile app not only to monitor their farm using satellite images, but also to place orders and get deliveries till their house. The way we analyze Bharat Agri's progress is to un by understanding how many farmers are we positively impacting. Mm -hmm. As of today, we have 10 lakh unique farmers who are using our app and website every month and tracking their farms using satellite images, placing orders, etc. Now, the goal with this funding is to expand this base. Let's first look at the short term goal, whereby the upcoming monsoon season, that is May of 2024, when the monsoon season will start in India, our goal is to take this number to 40 lakh unique farmers who will use our app and website every month and improve their farming techniques. That's goal number one. Goal number two is that even today, when we get orders from far away geographies, it takes around, for far away geographies, it takes five days to do the delivery. And we know that agriculture is more of a kind of urgent business where based on weather conditions, you need to take steps quickly in order to save guard your crop. We want to set up local delivery hubs in different geographies in a way that any farmer in India would get the delivery less than three days. There will come a time in next two to three years where the rural infra in the country will be at par with urban infra. And you would see that farmers getting deliveries within 48 hours. Wow. But we are not yet there as of today. Our goal is that using this funding, we facilitate that rural infra development and we do the deliveries within three days. Thanks for that, Siddharth. Thanks for breaking it down so simply and clearly. Uh, I've learned something and like you and you use the word transform. What you describe is truly transformative. Yeah. And speaking of transformative, the last time we spoke, Siddharth, we spoke about the transformative change that Gen AI was bringing. Um, and it's six weeks. And in the world of Gen AI, six weeks is a long time. What's yeah. happened uh, with, sorry, with Gen AI and Bharat Agri in the last uh, six to eight weeks since we last spoke? 
yeah yeah so that's a very interesting uh, development that has been happening all around the world and we are just trying to catch up so as i mentioned there are 10 lakh farmers unique farmers who use our app and website every month and as they use our platform naturally speaking they want to talk to someone to help them navigate through the platform they want to talk to someone today as of today you and me are very comfortable using let's say amazon flipkart or uber but when they were just recently launched sometime 10 years back we were also dependent and regularly talking to customer care yeah that is where rural india is right now now 5% of the total user base is trying to talk to us every day through chats or through phone call now that's a huge number and there are two problems that a company like us faces one is to have a large team who is answering to their queries real time and answering them 24 hours you won't believe that 10% of our total orders are placed from 12 in the midnight to 6 am in the morning we yeah. don't know why but that happens and even at that point of time farmers wants to speak with someone so one is having a large team that is available all the time second having our team give accurate answers to farmers this is not a customer care telling them that when will your order arrive but this is a customer care that is guiding them what products to use you cannot go wrong there you are like a doctor to their farm so you have to be present and you have to give accurate answers it is very expensive to run such operations in since the last 6 weeks when we last spoke we just launched the ai capabilities in our communication systems and as of today 65% of our queries are handled by that system amazing where the either the query is completely resolved by the ai system or is partially resolved which can then easily be taken up by our team when they are available so this has not only made our process quite lean and affordable but at the same time ai is always more accurate than a human being it does not need everyday training by a trainer or it does not need a quality analysis team it's learning every day based on the data and it has become better than our team wow i mean i feel the excitement it's palpable um and i've learned something new all as always but i want to look forward siddharth uh you've raised series a in funding gen ai is playing a critical role what does 2024 look like for bharat agri yeah so um there are three ways in which we are looking at 2024 one is definitely the growth we want to grow from 10 lakh active farmers to 40 lakh farmers only by mid of next year that's the growth part which we have already covered but we are looking at more interesting ways in which we want to solve farmers problem uh when i go to the ground and try to meet farmers uh one out of five farmers always say that um i purchase products today but i pay after the harvest mm. that's how the rural economy has worked since centuries a lot of things have improved but there are still around 20% farmers who can pay for today's expenditure after their crop has harvested which is generally 3 to 4 months and such farmers are exploited by local uh, agencies who have the capability to, to give credit but there's some exploitation involved because it's not organized credit in 2024 we want to reach a stage where we are able to provide organized credit to bharat agri farmers to purchase products from bharat agri we regularly read articles that the sales of washing machine and tv increased on amazon flipkart after they launched buy now pay later or no cost emi that's the same revolution we want to bring in agriculture where you purchase products from bharat agri do a seamless checkout but pay after your harvest that way we would even be able to reach those farmers who today are not able to enjoy the benefits of bharat agri services and the third in 2024 is we want to go into different geographies where we are not yet present 
as of today we are not heavily present in south india that is karnataka tamil nadu etc because of our language limitations but in 2024 we would like to invest some resources there and also spread our services to geographies where we are not present as of now lovely more power to you siddharth i hope impossible is nothing thank you for stepping into the spotlight and for anyone listening please do join us on the spotlight series and hear exciting founders like siddharth every time we show up thank you thank you sandhya it's always a pleasure talking to you thank you Thank you.